ninth day of novena in honor of blessed Francisco Palau, OCD. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Eucharist, the divinity embraces humankind. Jesus humbly offers us to His divine life to make us one with the Trinity. The body and blood of Jesus are real nourishment for our journey. We are certainly fortunate to have such a friend always present in us. Jesus, truly present in the Eucharist, strengthens, transforms, and empowers us. He gives us the energy that we need in order for us to live fully as children of God. A reading from the writing of Blessed Francisco Palau, the Eucharist. In the most blessed sacrament of the altar, you are present to me sacramentally in your head and morally united to your head. There, you give yourself entirely to me sacramentally in your head and morally in everything and with all your body. Because wherever your head goes, you go with all your body. Eucharist, or the Last Supper, is very significant in our life because it is the source and the summit of Christian life. Source in the sense that it reveals that our salvation begins with God, not by ourselves. At the same time, it is summit since it will flow back to the Father through Jesus Christ. But the question is, how the Eucharist affects my life. Ano nga ba ang epekto ng Eucharistia sa aking buhay? In my own reflection, the Eucharist makes me a better person every day and gives me courage and strength to continue my life despite of many struggles and challenges. Ang Eucharistia rin ang nagbibigay ng linaw at kapayapaan sa puso't isipan ko. At nang dahil sa Eucharistia, mas nagiging malapit ako sa ating mahal na Panginoon. The Eucharist taught me to be humble and serving the people of God and to be a man for others. Huwag po kayong matakot na lumapit at humingi sa Panginoon, lalong-lalo na sa banal na misa. Dahil ang Eucharistia ay ang pinakamataas na antas ng panalangin or the highest form of all prayers. God will always listen to our petitions and surely He will grant what's in our hearts lalong-lalo na kapag nakakatulong ito sa ating buhay. Para sa mga kabataang katulad ko, huwag nating kalimutang bigyan ng importansya ang banal na Eucharistia Dahil ito ang ating gabay at daan tungo sa kabanalan. Amen. Novena Prayer of the Day Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for the incomparable gift of your body and blood. Renew the unity of the Church in each Eucharist. Quench our thirst and satisfy our hunger with the true meal of heaven. We ask you that with your life in the Eucharist, Make us united with you in the bosom of the Trinity and always more united with you in our brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us pause for a while and offer to the Lord through blessed Francisco Palau all our intentions. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and forever, shall be world without end. Amen. Blessed Francisco Palau of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Pray for us. Salve Francisco, profeta de Dios, la iglesia gozosa te aclama, himnos de triunfo y salmos de amor. 